What's good? It's Madam Mobile Myth here, back again with another Madam Mobile 21 video on the channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the 98 Mobile Season 09 Summer Blockbusters fast. I hope you guys do enjoy this one. Make sure to drop a like down below and as well subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on so you never miss out on a video like this one. And let's get straight into it. So, we got four 98 overalls and we also are getting four new 99s. I'm pretty sure this upcoming Monday. It should be in the um, the sets. There is like a time where the 99s come out. They already show us the 99s though, which is pretty nice. I'll show you guys that pretty soon. For now, let's head right into the play blockbusters. This is how the pass is looking like. It's not that bad. The first thing you're going to get is an 84 plus overall S9 player, which is pretty good. The more stuff uh, you get out of the pass, the better it is. So you're going to want to make sure you are grinding four points to go ahead and get the most out of the pass because you're going to get 2x 84 plus overall S9 players at 4k points. Then you're going to get 2,000 gems. That will help you with uh, program stamina. That's great. Uh, you got an 89 overall S9 player at 13K. So you are getting some really good stuff like 4K gems at 25K. That is really good. They're giving us some pretty good rewards in this uh, pass, to be honest, which is really good. At 50K points, we get a 99 of one of the summer blockbuster masters that came out, the 103s. So you get Patrick Mahomes or Miles Garrett, a 99 version of them because it's on the free pass. If you get the VIP at 50k, you get the 103 um, and all that stuff. But if you're grinding just free, you'll get the 103 then there. Honestly, you can stop at 50k if you're free to play, to be honest. If you want to just go ahead and grab all the elites, the gems, and then grab the 99. That easy. If you want to continue, continue afterwards. You don't really don't need to grind too much because they give you a lot of rewards plus the 99 in the beginning. Still fair and nice overall, to be honest. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the fuel pass let's get straight into these sets and let me explain how to get one of the 98s because to be honest they're not that bad of cards we are going to get the 99 soon though so if you guys want to go ahead and just save up your stuff and wait till monday you can go ahead and do that but everything i explain in this video will help you also to get a 99 because once the 99s come out i'm pretty sure you have to just put in one more 94 for a 99 so the requirements might be like 294 plus s9 players 20 solo battles badges and 197 overall s9 solo player so they're just going to put in like one more for the 99s uh you know just because it's a plus one overall difference which is not that bad but yeah they're going to put out new 97s as well we all have already seen them though and they're all in the rewards so it's pretty nice you can go check those out too i'll show you those later in the video for one of the 97s we got troy hill this is the requirements for him and also for the rest they got the same requirements for all which is not that bad you're going to need 197 for one of the players up here the 98s as you guys can see you're also gonna need a 94 which is really easy to get if you're going to get a 94 here, you can easily get a 94 there. A lot of people do, um, you know, what they do to go ahead and get the players, either if it's playing events, you know, going and completing the sets and or buying gem packs in the store. Whatever you do to get your players, go ahead and do it. If you snipe, whatever, any way possible in the game to get the players, that is easy for you. You can do it. Uh, so, yeah, the first thing is 10 83 plus program players. So we just had the season eight field pass. So you can go ahead and take any of those 83 plus that you got from that and put it in there and yeah but if you don't you can go ahead to the auction house you can go and basically search the s1 through um s8 and just go ahead and get those program players because you can use any program players it doesn't matter you can use any of them it doesn't you know show a requirement to use so if you go ahead you can go in the auction house get some for cheap or if you have them on your bench just put them in there boom done easy that should be completed right away now next 84 pluses you get one when you log on to the game like that they just give it to you um from the past that's the first thing you get which is pretty nice um now if you want more you can go down here and you can basically play your solo battles events get tokens trade 110 tokens in for an 84 plus that's a good way to get it or you could um scroll up here you can trade two 84 plus sa players for 184 plus overall uh as nine player now this i think is a cooldown so that's going to take a while you can also play the events you can get them out of the traffic mode events as well when you play through solo battles i'll show you guys the solo battles pretty soon when i'm done explaining the 97. now once you're done with that you go to the 89s but then you have to go back because you have to grind 84s then to train for the 89s so you're kind of doubling up on grinding for one player multiple times so once you you know get the 84s then you got to go again and get some of the 84s and then put them um you know into the 89s right here so you need 784 pluses for an 89 
which is not that bad. You can go down here and trade in. Uh, 289 plus overall SA players for 189. It also has a cooldown for this one. This is just the SA players only, though. Um, so if you have them on your bench, or if you know they're cheap in the auction house, you can do that any way possible. And last but not least, the 94 pluses, you're going to have to go back and grind some 89s. So as I said, you're gonna have to go, you know, once you grind, you know, one card, you're gonna then go ahead and grind another one for the higher overall card because right here you gotta get 789 pluses for a 94 that's gonna be a little bit of a grind to be honest unless you can get it throughout some other ways i already know as i showed you guys in the past you can get an 89 and all this stuff they do give you some to start off with if you grind those points which is really nice too and all that stuff also you can trade in 289 plus sa players for 189 plus uh, s9 player this is a cooldown as well so if you have any of the s8 89 pluses you can trade in there for an 89 so that would also help you uh get some 89s to go ahead and trade them in for 94s or just get 89s originally which is not that bad as well um but yeah that's basically it to get a 97 uh to put into the 98s and that's pretty much it you then gotta you know grind your solo battle events to go ahead and get your you know solo battle badges and the same way I showed you how to get the 94s throughout the 97s, that's how you, you know, are going to go ahead and do it. Um, you also can get the solo battle badges throughout here. Plus in the events, I'm going to go right now and show you guys these solo battles events and how that all is working. So this is how these solo battles looks like. You have to go ahead and click start. You have to spend 50 program stamina at the start. And then you unlock the four events. You got to play the four events to unlock the traffic cone, the 5v5 and then move on from there you can go ahead and get good rewards throughout the traffic cone um like the 84 pluses the solo battles badges and as well as pulling a 98 um from their pacific events so yeah it it's not that bad to be honest though by grinding and you also get points too you get the uh fuel bias points as well if you grind through the four events you then unlock the achievement to go ahead and claim some field pass points so basically you can get a lot of field pass points out of here like 1500 for each of these events when you complete them you can complete four right now um which is really nice and then when the 99s come out you can do the same thing spend 50 program stamina at the start and then claim your points as well it's 3000 this time that is actually pretty nice so they are giving you a lot throughout the solo battles as always to get the points you get more points you get the rewards i help you throughout the game as well and you can also pull the 99s throughout these events as you can see 65 hours and 24 minutes when those uh, 99s get released so basically um monday which is pretty nice so i'm gonna click rewards and we're gonna check out the 99s uh, the 98s and all the 97s, just every single player. Here's all the cards. You can see the 98s that are already out, the 99s that will be coming out soon. Um, there they are. And then the 97s that are not out, that will be out um, soon. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, I can't wait until those come out. Remember, uh, go ahead and either save up uh, to go ahead and get either the next 97s that come out and then the 99s because as long as you're saving up you'll get them on monday because if you have enough to go ahead and claim a 97 and or 98 whatever you guys are getting you can go ahead and get them you just if you want to wait because you get to see everything now so you can make your decision now and then go ahead and grind whatever you want do it it's not that bad to go ahead and do that right now but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video that's pretty much it for it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace